of the interwebs and welcome to Battlefield 3 Endgame. Um, the reason I'm making this video is simply just because I want to share with you guys my thoughts. Uh, I've had a couple of hours time to be able to play on this now and in that uh, short amount of time, <coughs> sorry, in that short amount of time I do believe that I have gotten a bit of an insight into at least what I personally think is good or bad about this endgame. Uh, the video that yeah, I am showing you at the moment is just me playing a squad deathmatch. Not playing very well, but as the people who've already played with me know, I don't always play very well. I think on this round I go 7 to 8, something like that. It's not too good. Uh, but anyway, let's start off with the... Uh, I usually call it Aerial Conquest, but it's apparently called Air Superiority. I am not a big fan of flying jets, so that from the very get-go would be one of the things that I wouldn't like but as soon as I tried joining a server if there were more than 14 people on it I had a problem getting into a jet you'd have to sit on the waiting screen where it says deploy and then simply mash that deploy button because every time a jet came back there'd be three or four people trying to get a hold of that same jet and that actually meant that sometimes you could be sitting for about 3-4 minutes not being able to fly and I just think that's stupid and from DICE's point of view I don't understand why they even let people make servers higher than 14 jets because that's what's going to happen and it just it ruins the game it ruins the you know the way you think about the game and it's just it's just it's sad really because it just made me who don't, don't like jets to begin with I'm not very good with them I actually thought hey this might be a time where I might be able to learn how to fly one of these things but I have to have to, if I have to wait those three four minutes I'm not I'm just not gonna bother um, the other new one is capture the flag now capture the flag I think is a really good gameplay I've tried it a lot on um, on black ops 2 and a lot of other different first-person shooters and in this game it works quite well um, one of the big issues that I do have is that the flags are at the spawn points I think for DICE to be able to make this game a little bit better and something that they should do in Battlefield 4 is to move those flags, just move them 200 meters up the road, something like that, uh, or maybe even a little bit more. Make it so that you have to run a little bit to get to your own flag because at the moment, as soon as people try to get a flag, they're going to keep getting spawn kills because right, people will keep spawning in. Thing, and think. also, people will be able to go in these situations and go to the other flag and just wait you know go ahead with a sniper a couple of hundred meters away and know exactly where they spawn it's just stupid the other thing I have is that people don't really seem to know how to play capture the flag or that's at least my perspective on it because what usually happens is that you've got uh, one of two things either you're gonna have a team where every single person rushes ah, and no one defends, or you're gonna have it that where every single person defends and nobody rushes and I've also <laughs> I've tried a couple of games where as soon as the game starts everyone is has mines and they just throw a million mines on top of the flag which just makes it stupid because you're gonna have to do a couple of kamikaze missions just to get those damn mines away from it and I've even seen people actually trying to stack the things you know people just derping around at spawn you know I think I've got about eight or nine mines on top of each other I've seen people do so Again, it's it's just stupid. Um, what else do I have to say about capture the flag? Um, I do really, really enjoy the new the new bikes. I think they are a great, great, great thing to have in the game. And I am so sad that it's only on these new maps. I would love if they were on all the big maps because you can get so good gameplay out of it. You you get around quickly. You can get around quicker than other vehicles and stuff. Other than of course flying a jet, but you can quickly get off it, you can have two people on it, um, the person behind can shoot at the same time. I have I have absolutely nothing wrong with this, I think it's brilliant, plus plus the fact that you can actually throw a claymore onto it, uh, and then just drive into the other enemy's base, jump off it, and then explode the claymore, I think that is a brilliant little thing as well, really, really fun. Um, a lot of people, of course, try to get those at the beginning, I suspect in the next couple of days people will, you know, not everyone will be using them so that does make them easier as well to come by at the moment when you start off you've got about five six people just standing at spawn waiting for these things to come back because people need to learn how to ride them and stuff so but yeah um, other than that on new maps I love the size of new maps I've not been a big fan of you know 
the big big maps I think you know maps where people can fly around in jets and stuff it's, it's just I'm a close quarters kind of guy I love Nushra canals the small ones that but these you've got a map where it's about a kilometer from one end to the other but because of the bikes you can get around so quickly and there's still close quarter elements in the maps if you want you can be in the buildings and you can fight off people in the buildings and it makes sense to be in those buildings like because on some of the really big maps of course you have buildings but no one's ever going to come into this building because there is no point to it um, other than that I don't really have that much more else to say I um, I really enjoyed all the different expansions to this Battlefield 3 and I will be starting to be making a lot more videos in Battlefield 3 I'm still learning the Sony Vegas making a montage stuff uh, having a lot of help from both John Joe Games and Muzz uh, Gaming HD I think his name is on YouTube so I'm looking forward to doing that um, my, you got to remember my montage does take a lot longer to do because I simply am not this, that good at this game but the thing is and this is why Battlefield 3 for me is a brilliant game I usually end up around, you know, a kill death ratio of about. If I'm playing the Shrike Canals, I'll get it about one. If I'm playing the big maps, I might more easily get it about 0.5, which is not very good, which usually gets killed two times for every kill I get. But I still enjoy it. I love being able to play this game. I love the fact that I can run into a building, and every once in a while, I can have these three Thor kills in a row. You know where everything just works out perfectly so simply because of that I absolutely love this game I cannot stress it enough I think um, they need a theater mode in Battlefield 4 that is one of my oh, okay. biggest concerns that they will not do because uh, at the moment I'm having to record with I've got both Fraps and DX Tory uh, both bought yeah, legitimately and with DX Tory I cannot get good frames, I don't know what's wrong with my computer but it, I just simply can't and with Fraps I don't get very good as well uh, plus if you could have a theatre mode been? you could just play and then you could watch your yeah, views afterwards, well. you can move the camera around maybe get that scenic shot that you really want so all in all that's one of the things I really want but other than that I just hope you guys have a great day I hope you enjoyed this video please smash that like button I killed you do what you like when you uh, subscribe camping. you know I'll be making more Battlefield 4 videos and until next time goodbye